G'day, John for The Hot End. Today I'm going to talk about printing models that we want to keep. G'day. You probably have heard, unless you live under a rock, that uh, Carrie Fisher recently passed away, which was very sad for uh, those of us that are fans of Star Wars. A friend of ours, Jeff Rowe, modelled this tribute, which you would have already seen Anthony do a, a tribute piece on this model. You may be wondering what process we go through if we want a model that we want to print, that we, we really are passionate about and we want to keep. I want to put it on my mantelpiece, I want to put it in my office. Uh, it's a print that I want to keep forever. So what we do is, or what I do, is I print it several times in several different filaments, different settings, different colours, which is all very time consuming but it gives me an idea of how I best want to keep this print. Now in front of me, you've got an example of what I mean. Uh, starting here is the one that Anthony did. That's in uh, pink that he did on the Zortrax printer. This one is one that I did on the Volgatech FT5. This is in Orb Polymer PLAOP, which is the silk finish. Um, the next one is in a ABS from Orb Polymer and the last one is in a Orb Polymer PET which I printed all of these on the FT5. Now out of all of them it's a no-brainer really because you already know the ABS stands out to me. It doesn't have the sheen of these two which I don't necessarily like in this sort of model that it has its place but not for this. Uh, the, the pink one here is also in an ABS which I also like so this model will be done in ABS. It won't be in this pink because it's just not a nice colour. Um, not for this tribute anyway. So I will be printing this model in a more appropriate ABS colour, maybe white, maybe grey, uh, something of that nature and I'll be printing it probably in this size because you've probably noticed they're all different sizes. Now this particular print uh, I just finished last night uh, and I'll go into a bit of detail on this one because this is in a filament that I haven't used before. This is actually in uh, Orb Polymer PET. Now PET is not one of my favourite filaments to use because it's like printing with chewing gum but I thought I'd give it a go. Now this print because of it's in PET it has to be printed very slowly. Um, now the process for this one was that I printed it on a raft because it tends to uh, lift a little bit if you don't. It's printed at a 2.4 layer height. It's printed at a temperature of 238 degrees C. But the speed I had to keep an eye on and vary because there's some places that you can print it a little faster, some places has to be printed a little slower. So it ranged from 10 millimeters per second up to the fastest I could go was about 30 millimetres per second. Um, once we got up to the top of the gun up here, it was probably printing in about four or five millimetres per second. And I had to have the fan on to do the end of the gun. So this print all up took 28 hours to print, um, which is another reason why I like ABS. Uh, I will print this same model in a probably 1 point, uh, sorry, 0 0.12 layer height, maybe a 0.16, we'll see, in ABS, and I'll be able to print this at 50 to 60 millimeters per second, uh, and it will uh, be a lot shorter print. 
So when I've done that, I'll come back and show it to you. I'll probably do a time lapse of it. And as I say, this uh, will be the print that I'll keep uh, forever on my mantelpiece. Okay, thanks for watching. Don't forget all of our support processes, Patreon, all those things. Um, and I'll see you next time, hopefully, hopefully on a more happy note.